Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm your host Rama, and in today's video I'm playing in the BF Weevil. This is the Benny's upgradable car this week in Grand Theft Auto Online and I am very excited to see what the upgradability is on this vehicle. Now the Weevil itself is based off the Volkswagen Beetle which uh, I mean it's a cool car. It's obviously not very fast in GTA and there's not much special about it especially being a the compacts class so we're gonna have to see what this vehicle turns into obviously it's gonna be some sort of Halloween amalgamation which is honestly gonna be sick so we're just making our way over to Benny's 0.4 miles to go speeding along just driving my handy dandy car down the road imagine seeing somebody just driving a, like a 1940s Beetle at max speed down the road in LA yeah that would be a little bit crazy but alas we have arrived at our destination and oh my god this thing is awful to drive is it this one yeah i always forget which door i have to drive up to okay i am really excited to upgrade this car because uh i mean it's probably gonna look six here we go upgrade oh my god 980 grand that's actually really expensive and uh you know what the car definitely looks pretty sick i gotta be real so first of all armor brakes and we got some bumper options. Okay, you know what? That actually looks really cool. We gotta have this thing like a buggy. I mean, the BF buggy bull bar looks cool, but I gotta say, I think the coolest one is honestly the, uh, this one here, the chrome injection bar. That just looks the best. Rear, oh, that looks sick! Oh, we can have the engine sticking out? Okay, alright, this is already looking amazing. So, we can do a rear cage. I'm honestly thinking that, uh, this one looks a bit nicer, because there's not as much going on. Uh... Well, that one looks pretty good too though, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the chrome injection rear cage. I think that looks the best Okay, headlight covers. We can do some weird racing fog covers. We can do some rat rod fog lights I actually like the position of those fog lights. I think those look pretty cool old school fog lights Honestly, let's go for old school. I'm a big fan of the old school style put some originality on this car so we got some tail lights pretty surprising you don't see that as an upgrade option too much from rockstar um i'm not really sure i'm just gonna do let's do retro retro should be fine we did some retro on the front so let's do some retro on the back ems upgrade level four exhaust oh that looks pretty sick i actually do like the quad stingers though that looks pretty nice too Ooh, wrapped blast pipes. Oh, there's- oh, that's- what the heck is that? No, I'm not going for that. That is the weirdest exhaust I've ever seen. Okay, um, I have a lot of options here. This one honestly looks pretty sick, but I think I'm gonna go for this one. The wrapped blast pipes. I think that looks the best for the type of buggy design we're going for. Hood, hood accessories. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the accessories, but we got some chains that go over the front, which are almost impossible to see. We got some spikes, yellow deflector, blue deflector. Uh, oh, we can do retro horns? Okay, we're going for retro horns. I mean, the rat rod trim looks cool, but <laughs> retro horns are honestly pretty sick. Hood itself, we got some really, really, really hooded... Uh, I don't even know what to say. Just a lot of vents on the hood. Uh, twin vented hood, that actually looks pretty nice. Gotta be real. Uh, a retro grill, that looks pretty cool too. Hmm, there's a lot of nice options here. We're either gonna go for twin vented or the retro hood, but we also got a fog light hood. Honestly, let's go for the fog light hood. That looks really cool. I gotta be real. That looks really, really sick. All right, interior seats. What can we do? Uh, that looks awful. Oh my god, <laughs> that is the worst thing I've ever seen when it comes to seats. Uh, you know what? Let's just go for, uh, rat rod seats. Yeah, steering wheel. Uh, you know what? That looks cool. Let's go for it. Rat rod steering wheel shifters. We can do some weird ones here. Uh, honestly, we'll just go for the old school mic. Doors doesn't really matter. Oh, you know what? They actually have some new ones here. Let's go for the, uh, worn leather interior and then light color. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Let's just make it, like, ice white so we can read the speedo. Okay, uh, roll cage we can put on this vehicle. Yeah, let's do a roll cage. Why not? We're making this like a buggy, so, uh, I think this will be pretty sick with a roll cage. Put on some xenon lights. Okay, now we got some liveries. We do got hot rod flames, which looks pretty sick. Ooh, I do like that purple. That actually looks really nice. And 
Actually, I like the uh, stop stronzo racing quite a bit as well. There's a lot of, honestly, well, I guess there's only really one good one in my opinion. It's either we're going for the purple flames or the stronzo. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, let's try the stronzo for now and let's see uh, how it looks once we uh, paint it a bit. Mirrors, uh, we can change that. Rat Rod mirrors go in the front. What do the retro mirrors look like? Um, honestly, I think the Rat Rod mirrors look the coolest. Let's go for that. Sweet. Okay, ornaments. We can put a little thing in the front of our car. Uh, you know, let's just go for the BF. That looks pretty cool. Plates doesn't really matter. I guess we can just put it black. Okay, so let's see uh, how this car looks if we were to change the color. Honestly, that looks really nice with like a, a silver. Let's go for dark steel, I'm thinking there. And then as a secondary color, yeah, that actually looks really nice. We can do a brushed aluminum. I don't know uh, what you guys think about that, but I actually think that looks pretty sweet for this car. Okay, trim color. Um, let's make it as well a, a nice mixture. Let's do a frost white. That actually looks pretty nice, I would say. Okay, and then a roof. What can we do here? We got some really ugly spikes. Not a huge fan of that. We can put a surfboard on it. I just want to put like a, a buggy light. Can we do some lights on it? Ah, unfortunate. Oh wait, no, I guess we can do an off-road rack. Uh, but I don't like the uh, I don't like the tire and everything sticking on it. Interesting. Uh, we can't just do like the lights on the front. That's a shame. Oh well. Um, honestly. I gotta say, the off-road rack looks the coolest, but I'm just gonna leave it with nothing on the roof. I don't think any of the options look amazing. I am gonna do the off-road kit on the side. That looks awesome. Uh, sun skirts on the roof, um, or sun strips on the roof. I'm just gonna go for, let's just do a drill visor. That looks fine. Spoiler, oh my god. That is the most ridiculous wing I've ever seen, and I absolutely love it. Although, the GT wing looks pretty nice. Yeah, we gotta do it. I mean, <laughs> that's just the sickest spoiler I've ever seen. Transmission, turbo, finally wheel type. We're gonna go from uh, for some off-road tires here. Let's go for some chrome, uh, just because I think it's gonna look really sick and probably drive a bit better with off-road tires. Tint out our windows, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is my buggy. What do you think? I think that this honestly looks pretty freaking sweet. I, uh, I really, really like this. Wow, this thing is a lot faster than its previous version. It's now a muscle car. Wow, okay. I see what you did there, Rockstar. And uh, it's definitely not a slow muscle car at all. Unfortunately, oh, well, uh, we've crashed a bit. But unfortunately, it is not a, uh, a speedo that we can really gauge top speed off of. But what I can say is that its uh, turning speed is absolutely awful. This might be a really good... Uh, top speed demon but handling wise oh boy this is not a car you're going to be getting for handling i do really like the look of it i'm gonna make my way over to uh the, the little course we normally do on handling we'll see how the car does also i just want to say something that's very unfortunate the lights on the front i really wish rockstar made turn on but unfortunately as you can see they don't so a uh, little bit unfortunate when it comes to that hood accessory but here we are we're done to test out the handling on the uh, course i normally drive on when testing cars so far it's actually not doing too bad but we are only going like 50 60 miles per hour here once i start giving it the gas you can see man this handling is just not very good okay around this corner oh Oh, no, 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 okay, we actually managed to, uh, to keep it on the line, all right, we're good so far, here we go, around this corner, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you now, if you're buying this car for handling, you are buying it for the very, very wrong reasons, because it is not a car, oh my god, it is not a car that is gonna be handling well at all. What I'm gonna do is, because this car's speedo, uh, doesn't have an actual speedometer that I can read off of that's digital, uh, I'm gonna go into story mode after, oh, okay, we're fine, I'm gonna go into story mode after I finish this little, uh, course here, and I'm gonna see what the top speed is, and then I'll get back into online, because I feel like this car has a really good top speed, I can already tell you the acceleration is insane. Insane. It's just that it, it can't turn for crap. So uh, I'm really hoping that Rockstar. Oh, I'm surprised we didn't crash there. I'm really hoping Rockstar gave this thing a absolute chonker of a top speed. Now I did put some off-road tires on it, and yeah, that <laughs> that did not help at all with its off-roading capabilities. Okay, so uh, first impressions of the upgraded Weevil is that absolutely terrible handling. This might be the worst handling car I've ever driven in the game. Like right up there with some of the 
uh, the other buggies, but holy crap is this thing fast. I can tell you just from feel that this is one of the fastest cars I've driven in the game. Okay, let's come around this corner. Oh, no! Well, we did crash, but we've basically made it to our destination. So yeah, terrible, terrible handling. But I, uh, I definitely want to test this vehicle's top speed. All right, well, after some minor testing in story mode, this car is really, really fast. The top speed sits at 135 miles per hour, give or take. Bruffy will obviously have a video talking about this vehicle's top speed in a day or two, and it'll be around 135, which is really, really fast for a muscle car. I mean, driving downhill, you're probably going to be able to get this thing to go upwards of 140. I mean, you can see just how how fast we're going right now. So honestly, that's a pretty flat dub. The fact that this car is so fast means that it might be one of the best dragsters out there, especially if you're doing it against some other muscle cars in the class. Although once again, there are HSW variants in the game, it's like the Arbiter GT. So you do gotta keep that in mind. This is an incredibly fast vehicle, but compared to vehicles like the Arbiter, it's still not the fastest variant out there, but still really, really fast. And honestly, I'm super excited that this is one of the fastest muscle cars out there because it's uh it's honestly a pretty fun vehicle to drive i can definitely tell you that it's just that the handling is really bad so if you're a person that likes handling over top speed this is not the kind of car you're going to want to buy final thing i want to test is uh is the wheeling capability because if this thing can't wheelie i'm gonna be really really sad so let's just stop it this is a pretty big straightaway here wheelie time and uh oh yeah it's not uh it's not very good at wheeling even when trying to control it you can see an oh oh there you go okay you know what not too bad not too bad oh we uh we kind of took an l there but <laughs> you know what it actually did a decent job once we got it into a, a pretty decent position so it can wheelie you just got to be really really careful with it well there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the BF Weevil Custom. Pretty sick car. Do I think it's worth the price tag? Honestly, yeah. For how fast it is, who cares about handling? This is the kind of muscle car I love to see in GTA. Is one that literally just does not give a crap about handling and only goes for that straight line speed. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.